Yeta enjoys a lot of support from government structures. Through the project regional advisory committee, a non-bureaucratic arrangement within the project that ensures and entrenches good relationship with the government structures. But for me, I would still continue. I will have to make a follow-up. I have to go and encourage them. If they need more training, I still I would still continue with them. I look at that. Uh, much as they are in a group, I think they, they, they also started diversifying some of these projects, which I'm very happy about it. And the most important thing now, developing their business plan, such that somebody can pick a very good thing so that they can move forward. The committee comprising technical officers in the districts, including their chief administrative officers, has been run on commitment made by all parties. As you may be aware, there is unemployment. So the ETA project, we appreciate it as a district because it has helped in creating employment for the, for the youth. In terms of coming together, at first they came as an, uh, youth associations. Now we have worked together with the NCBA Kulusa to make sure that these youth associations are grown or grow to a level of producer cooperatives. They meet from time to time to evaluate their contributions to the youth and to the project. Within the district, our CDOs have been utilized, our uh, extension workers have been engaged. It is uh, one way of gaining sustainability of the program and also giving us, empowering us to understand our youth. This has been uh, very important because um, we, while planning for this youth in the districts, um, the technical teams have been very helpful in terms of providing uh, oversight and in terms of also uh, giving us the, um, the, key, the key areas that we need to emphasize on, especially while addressing issues in the districts.